The challenges that are present for men having cystic fibrosis obviously are different than a woman becoming pregnant. That uh, a man who has cystic fibrosis, as I said, about 99% of those men have what's con called CBAVD, or congenital bilateral absence or atresia of the vas deferens. That means that the tube, which allows the sperm out, is actually not developed or not open. And so they make sperm normally. We just need to be able to harvest that. What that means, though, is in order to father your own children, if you're a man with cystic fibrosis, is that you need to have a procedure done where that sperm is collected. And so there's a couple of different ways of doing that. Sometimes it's a little surgical procedure. Sometimes it's uh, drawing that out with uh, a, a needle. But um, the key thing is it's only a small amount of sperm so that you actually have to take that and to go into a dish to do in vitro fertilization. And that's where your significant other, your spouse, comes in because she has to donate those eggs because this is done in the dish. And then it's implanted into the mother. And so that requires obviously working with a fertility expert. Um, but we've had, we have, we have numerous successful uh, fathers in our program. And it's one of the things that I make clear to our men, our young men with cystic fibrosis, is that they have the potential to be fathers. They just, uh, they need assistance. So the process that we had to go through, uh, we started about three and a half years ago and um, initially started talking to our um, CF care team to see whether or not it was even a possibility. Um, their first suggestion was for my wife to get tested to see if she was a CF carrier or not. With that information, we decided to start to explore the next steps and set up an appointment to have a consultation just to see what the procedure was and um, everything we're going to have to go through from a financial standpoint as well as a medical standpoint. We started that process in June 2009, met with uh, the fertility doctor, and she explained that most likely we'd have to go through in vitro fertilization. So the procedure that I had to experience was minimal. It was outpatient. I went in in the morning. Um, <clears throat> they came back, performed um, the procedure where they extracted sperm, um, and I was home four hours later. Uh, the process required multiple um, shots and medication for Julie, mm -hmm. um, a couple of procedures for her as well as one for me. Um, so we <clears throat> went through that process. Um, it took about two to three months. Um, and in about September, um, we were able to do <clears throat> the transfer to Julie. Mm -hmm. um, and then about mid-October that year, we found out that we were pregnant. And so from the test to getting pregnant, it was about an eight-week process. Mm -hmm. And then we were very closely monitored from the fertility clinic for about six weeks. And at about week six is when I was turned over to a normal OB, if you will. And then um, I carried my pregnancy through. And Liam was born on June 11th, 2010. Liam does not have cystic fibrosis. To learn more about this issue, ask your CF Foundation accredited care center or contact the CF Foundation directly. Call 800-FIGHT-CF or email us at info at cff.org.